What is up, what is up everybody? It is Keys to Flex. We're out here with some more dual replays. This is from dual room I had with my buddy Silo. We were playing some Yu-Gi-Oh! Playing some Master Duel. Running a bunch of duels with a bunch of different decks. So you see here we got my Rika Roma deck versus the Galaxy Eyes. Galaxy Eyes is pretty tough, I'll be honest. Especially once they get their board going, they have a bunch of high-level monsters. I feel more comfortable against it with my Dragoonity deck, but it had been a while since I had played the Rika deck, so I might have made some misplays here and there. We'll see. We'll see. I'm a little bit more in the groove after that XYZ festival, because this was like right before that. But I did see they had a new structure deck that is out, so I'm looking forward to that as well as a new dual cup going on for March. So I'll be doing some more duels today, I think, and then I might record some more later down the line. We do have the double snow drop there, just quickly into Teardrop Rika Queen. I think here I just decided to go for the quick and easy, just go ahead and get it out there, get rid of one of their monsters. Do have Monster Reborn, so I'm pretty sure I was just, you know, kind of relying on that. To get Spore out there at level 9, which I don't really pull. I only have one in the deck, so kind of rare that I got that. So attack got pretty high that turn. End up using Monster Reborn after the phase to go ahead and get that Erica the Rika Fairy that I distributed out. So that's how I had all that attack was between that and then the effect, so... I do end up losing this duel, so despite having a really good start here, the duel goes 11 turns, and I do end up losing to the Galaxy Eyes deck. So we'll see here what, what went wrong. But shout out to Silo for having a really good duel. He's already got a lot of like a thousand life points on me due to monster effects and stuff, or card effects, but... As you all know, with this deck, I can get a lot of LP back. So I think issue here is I just don't get enough out here to finish the duel. I'm pretty sure he ends up summoning something on my turn. I'm not sure. So, we do the Synchro, which I don't do all that often because I only have one or two tuners in the deck. And I only have a couple of those in the in the extra deck. But when I can get this one out here, it's really great because I can special summon some stuff back on the field. Really good way to help with contributing. So I definitely need to find more ways to get that Empress out there. Actually, I hadn't been using it because of the XYZ Festival, so now I remember how great that card is. So, we're really just trying to here get some more cards in my hand. I definitely could have done that less, just because I had such a big LP lead, I figured it'd be okay. You can see here, that Galaxy Eyes is relentless. Got a lot of stuff in the graveyard now, so really good way to continue to just get that engine going, get stuff back out of the graveyard. Obviously gets the Cypher Dragon out here now. So he's able to take my Teardrop, which really sucks because that's kind of my boss monster. So now that he's got that, and then he uses it to get his Galaxy Eye Cypher X Dragon. So, kind of fucked here. So I do have some cards in my hand, but nothing in my hand that can immediately give me a good board. Everything takes a turn or two here to kind of to pop off. I am able to get that Aramage out there, just kind of keep myself alive a little bit, gain some more life points. But, you know, just three level eight and higher monsters. Three monsters with more than 3,000 life points. It's going to be tough. We got Rika Petal, which is great, but again, right here, there's not much you can do. Aramage I can special summon since I have so many life points. We get the Aromatheric P. Angelica to get a lot more life points, get that big 2k boost right there. And then I'm able to special summon it out on the, the field there, so... See, I'm using all my cards. I've got some stuff at least started to go. But, as you see here, I can't use Snowdrop the Rika Fairy because I don't have another card in my hand, so I do have to kind of, you know, reroute, go to Jasmine, Decided to tribute that to get that one fire blossom out there. May not have been the best decision right there, to be honest. I could have gone evil thorns or something else. Just give myself more of an advantage, but stuff's happening. Not the end of the world. I'm able to get another card in my hand thanks to Error, uh, the Jasmine. So 
I should be able to get Rika back, but even with Rika back, it's not going to be, or Teardrop Rika, it's not going to be enough to tribute everything they have out on the field. So, could have definitely done that differently, could have uh, used Hellborn instead, but we decided to go with Teardrop, the Rika Queen, my queen. I tribute my own monster that time. My guess is I couldn't tribute any of their monsters due to a monster effect. So that really sucks. End up losing a monster. End up not getting an advantage. Do you decide to do mutual suicide there? But yeah, turn seven. Still a couple more turns left to go. Like I said, I'm very excited. They have that new structure deck. It's got the Gaia monsters, which you know I've dueled in the past with. So I may have to. I've already bought it twice. I may have to see if about getting it the third time and using all those duplicate cards and stuff to A, get some more cards, but B, make a good deck with all of those cards. Maybe start running that again, especially now that I got more of the fusions. So that'll be fun. I might try that out in the dual cup. We'll see if I can make a deck later today and start working on that because I have Dragoonity. I have a decent guide deck now, but now that I have more of the cards, that'll help. And then I have this Rika deck, so a lot of variety coming to you in the Master Duel world. As you see, they took Teardrop the Rika Queen and took... The Empress of Blossoms, so I'm fucked. I mean, I got 6,500 life points, but that only takes me so far. So, to be honest, not too many misplays. Maybe not as many optimal plays as could have happened on my side, but Silo here was just relentless. You know, just, you know, with those Galaxy Cypher Eyes Dragons just kept on going. Able to pretty much wipe my board here. I'll just kind of speed it up since we're getting close to the end. And then, yeah, use the link with my two monsters, so... Unless I have a way to get him out of the graveyard with what I pull on my next draw phase, I'm fucked. So, we'll see. I mean, I do have a couple monsters in the graveyard that I can summon out. I get my Angelica there, at least, so I can gain some life points. And then I can do the Rika Petal there at the end of the turn, get that out there, at least to start with. So, Evil Thorn, that's nice. Like I said, I could have done that instead of Lone Fire Blossom that other time, but... It's a great way to, you know, make them lose some life points, sweat a little bit, get some monsters on the field for tributes. But, as you see here, don't not really much more I can do other than what I'm doing now, that help war. I do able to get the Mundane Ricky Fairy out there to get at least an extra trap card in my hand or a spell card here. We could Glamour. Which I really love that card, but... You know, not enough to come back in this type of situation. But you see, I got 8,500 life points, so I'm, I'm still alive in this duel, despite them having a huge advantage. But you see here, I'm trying my best to get cards in my hand, set myself up, end up just, you know, playing defense here, just trying to stay alive, really, just summoning as much as I can. It was a great job banishing my monster there with the spell card. Able to get Rick a Fairy out there, but you know, again, it's more really just playing defense here. And their turn now just started, so you can see Galaxy Eye Cypher Dragon will keep stealing things and keep using them to do Link Summons and all of the like. So, got two Solar Flare Dragons out there. So, that Link support for Galaxy Eyes really helps take it up a notch. Because even just the XYZ Galaxy Dragons is pretty tough. See here, I still have a lot of life points, <laughs> but it's not nearly enough to stay alive. Got 6,000 left, but their board is stacked. They're, uh, they're, you know, negating everything I can do. Either that'll be a tough board to beat with any deck, so. A great job there, Silo. Hope you guys have been enjoying the YouTube shorts and all the things. I'm gonna try to keep up the content there. As always, I do stream on Twitch. Couple nights a week, around like six or seven, depending on what's going on. If I have the day off, I might stream a little earlier and a little longer, but the best place to find out is on the Twitter, which you guys can all see the links to. And yeah, this is it, the final turn. I'm gonna record one more of these uploaded. I hope you guys have been enjoying these duels I've been having with Silo, a lot of diversity, because we both played a couple different decks. Took the L here, but I got some Ws. So really, really tight duels there. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good rest of your day. Peace.